Look at the primary goal of cardiopulmonary bypass. It is to divert blood away from the heart and the lungs and return it to the systemic arterial system. Thereby you are providing the surgeon with a bloodless field where he can operate upon comfortably and correct the lesions. So in short, it replaces the function of the heart and lungs and coupled with that you have the temperature management which is an integral component of the cardiopulmonary bypass machine. Now what are the components of the cardiopulmonary bypass circuit or the machine? So the mandatory components include the oxygenator which functions as the artificial lung, the pump which functions as the artificial heart, then we have the cannulae, the reservoir or the venous reservoir, then you got the heat exchanger which helps to maintain the temperature. Then there are filters accompanied with bubble traps which prevent systemic embolization of any air which has entered the circuit. The other essential components of the cardiopulmonary bypass machine include the pressure monitors, the cardioplegia delivery system, plus you have the numerous safety features like the bubble detectors, the oxygen sensor and the reservoir low level detection alarm. Now this is the diagram of the cardiopulmonary bypass machine. So you have the various components like the venous reservoir, the number two is the oxygenator. From the venous reservoir, the venous line goes on to the arterial pump and from there it gets ox comes back to the oxygenator which is number two, gets oxygenated and along with that you have the cardiotomy pumps, the vent pumps and the cardioplegia pump into which the cardioplegia is being delivered and once all this is done, it is returned back to the patient through the artery. So these are the various components of the cardiopulmonary bypass machine. Now coming on to the first part which is the oxygenator. Now, worldwide the membrane oxygenators have replaced bubble oxygenators. So you do not get to see bubble oxygenators in most of the places at least in developed countries. So what is a membrane oxygenator? It is a membrane, it consists of a membrane which separates the ventilating gas from the blood. So thereby any direct contact between the blood and the gas interface is eliminated. Now what is this membrane? So there are three types of membranes used in a membrane oxygenator. You have the true membrane, the microporous polypropylene membranes and the polymethyl painting membranes. Now the true membrane